When the history of COVID-19 vaccines gets written, there will be an important chapter right here in San Diego. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl went in depth with a scientist whose name is now in the conversation for the Nobel Prize. From the outside, this office building in UTC doesn't look all that remarkable, but in the late 80s and early 90s, it was the site of a series of experiments that laid critical groundwork for the mRNA COVID vaccines, and it all has to do with what's in this bottle. This is what worked so spectacular at that time back in 1984. Dr. Phil Felgner discovered the first lipid nanoparticle while working as a young scientist in Northern California. It's basically tiny bubbles of fat that allow scientists to move DNA or RNA where they want it to go. And labs still use his version today. Thermo Fisher sells this product now, about $300 million of it every year to scientists around the world. So that's just a testament of how widely it's being used in, in uh, laboratory research now. Dr. Feldner now leads UC Irvine's Vaccine Research and Development Center, but he says back in the 80s, companies didn't see much short-term profit potential in this technology for drugs or vaccines. Dr. Feldner couldn't get his first company to support research on it. They said that gene therapy was something for the year 2020. And, um, I, and they were right. It was amazing how right they were. So Feldner headed to San Diego and joined a startup company called Vical Inc. It was there in 1990. He and his colleagues showed that these tiny bubbles of fat mixed with mRNA could activate cells in mice and make them start churning out proteins. That's more or less how today's COVID-19 vaccines work, but it would take decades of contributions from other labs to refine the lipid nanoparticle and the mRNA before the two were ready for humans. You have to put all the pieces together. And we didn't have all the pieces uh, back, <laughs> uh, back then, but we had one uh, really interesting uh, piece. Last summer, Dr. Feldner was one of seven mRNA vaccine trailblazers who shared an international award from Spain called the Princess of Asturias Award. And the journal Nature listed him as a possible contender for the Nobel Prize. To be in the conversation is, is, is fine. <laughs> I've, talk to other people who have won the Asturias Award and also have won the Nobel Prize. And they, uh, they like the Asturias <laughs> Award. Feldner says the awards don't mean as much to him as the tokens of recognition from young students, like this one from a girl he met in Spain. And I'm sitting on the rings of Saturn, holding up the world as a big nanoparticle. <laughs> and she says, uh, gracias. To him, having the next generation of scientists find his life's work inspiring is more than enough. Who would ever think that this kind of thing would happen to them? Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Good person to happen to. Dr. Fellner's lab at UC Irvine now studies the antibody responses to the COVID-19 vaccines. He says they work better than he ever could have imagined.